Two pair habits when students start doing the lockdown rule. For the first one, of course, they will have to differentiate the top and so differentiate the bottom. But unfortunately, they do not have enough space in the front right here and right here. So they'll just put a DDX at the end like so. And I do appreciate the fact that they are trying to show work. But seriously, just don't do this. Because this notation right here is meant to be in front of the expression that you are trying to differentiate. So just go ahead and write this down again. And seriously, put down DDX in the front and use parentheses like so. And do the same thing on the bottom. And you know that this is equal to and this uh, Lapidus rule, we will have the limit as x goes to 0, on the top it's going to be e to the x, on the bottom is cosine x, and then put 0 into here and here, we get 1 over 1, so the answer is just equal to 1, perfect. And now after this, they'll remember to put down the dd whatever in the front right here, right? But unfortunately, if this is n goes to whatever, right? Do not put down ddn, this right here, if you do it, this is just as bad because and it's meant to be a whole number, right? Because we're doing sequence and series. So please don't do this. So what you should be doing is that, okay, we can say we check the function version instead, namely the limit as x goes to infinity, and then here we have ln x over x squared, and right here, go ahead and put on the ddx in the front, and then ddx in the front, and you see that based on L'Hopital's rule, we know that this right here will be the limit as x goes to infinity. On the top we get 1 over x, on the bottom we get 2x, and put infinity right here after you fix everything, you will just get zero. So that's the answer right here, right? And the deal is that if the function function gets you zero, this right here means the limit right here will also be equal to zero as well, all right? So remember, ddx in the front.